Hello world, Stephen Michael Zach here, and today we're taking a look at the GVM BD100s. This is these are their brand new tube lights. Now it'll cost you four hundred and thirty nine ninety nine, but at the time of the recording of this video, they are offering you fifty dollars off. And I just want to preface this by saying I bought this with my own money, so these are going to be my own honest and brutal opinions as always. So let's jump right in and let's take a look at what comes inside the bag. Now first off you have the bag which is very well padded. It is a GVM bag. They make great bags. Nice velcro, nice stitching on the lining. The zipper is pretty okay. I really wish it were just a little bit heavier, but it'll do the trick. It'll last a good long time. You get all your instructions and stuff inside. Now the first thing you will note is that this comes with a holder for both the lights and for this price point, this is absolutely fantastic. I love the fact that this comes with it. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the way that this just kind of Velcros onto the outside of the case here. Um, it's fine, it works, it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, it's a simple solution, uh, just not my favorite thing. The other thing I noticed about this mount is, uh, <laughs> as you could see, uh, it comes apart. Uh, this, these are just tapped into the metal, uh, and on mine it keeps coming in, so I will be returning this. Uh, so this may be an issue for you. Uh, does not, it's not, basically they just, they just hit, looks like almost like they hit the, the machine punches these in. Uh, there's nothing to make it tight, so you may have to replace the mechanism here. Uh, but just know that, uh, these may come out. But other than that, this is made very well, so you get your mount there. And inside, you're going to get, uh, in both these pouches, you're going to get a power cord, and you are going to get a little little power brick here. And uh, for some reason, it's off to the side here, probably because this is the power brick they use for all their other stuff, um, which we'll get to. And then inside, you are going to get two lights. Now, uh, I'm showing what I'm showing you here now is the fact that when I opened this up, this was actually on. Um, so these buttons can get very easily pressed, but you do get two very nice ones here. Uh, you get a, a handle here with all the buttons, a nice screen. You get a quarter 20 on this end and you get your barrel connector on this end. And of course there's a little loop here for a strap or a cable, uh, just in case you want to hang this. Okay. So first off, let's talk about this mount. Now, obviously, uh, mine is broken. Uh, so this is not the best thing in the world. It looks like almost like the machine just kind of shoves these through holes that it makes. Uh, so you may have to glue this back together uh, because this is just now in and out. Uh, there's no way to fix this. Uh, so that is definitely an issue, but the rest of this is pretty strong and I love the ratcheting handle. It works very, very well. You will of course actually need to physically ratchet this. Uh, in order to uh, get it tight enough. And everything about it feels good. The knob feels pretty good. Uh, real, no real complaints here, except for the fact that, uh, that this broken piece is a, is a huge issue. And yours will most definitely break as well. These are very, you could probably just ease, uh, some of these I can easily just turn. Okay, so let's talk build quality here. Now first off, uh, the tubes themselves are uh, made fairly well, but these handles are very plasticky. Um, and the buttons are very like rattly. Uh, so one, don't drop these or slam them down. The end caps as well, they will crack if you slam them down hard. Uh, also these buttons, not my favorite. As you can hear, they're very rattly. So if you're waving this thing around near your sound guy, you're gonna get that noise. Now we have a power button, the up and down. We have a gear button. We have the menu button up here. And then we have these two lines, which basically switches between the settings. So. We go ahead and fire this thing up and you do get a very nice screen here. Now you do get a brightness of 100 all the way down to zero in increments of one. And if you hold it down, it goes faster. So that seems to work very, very well. Then we hit the button, button under the mode button and this goes from 3200 Kelvin all the way up to 5600 Kelvin. So you have a sort of a limited range. It's not huge, but it will do the trick. Pressing the mode button, you go into your HSI mode and we'll go ahead and bump that up. 
And of course, HSI mode works just like any other HSI mode, uh, so we won't go through that. And if you want to switch to your hue or your saturation, you just press the this, this little button underneath the M button here. Pressing the M button again, you go into your special effects, you have your, you have, and then use the up and down arrows, you have, we start with, let's start at lightning, you have cop car, candle, TV, bad bulb, party, disco, and paparazzi. We'll go through those when we do go through the phone app. And that's it, it's very, very simple now. You can take the cord here, and it's a triple cord like that, and you could just plug it in, and then you can plug this in to the other side here. Actually, let's go with the top one here, and that'll shut off. Okay, we plug this into some power. We turn it on, and there we go. Now, the only thing is that uh, this little thing does not have, a, even though you do get quite a bit of cord. There's not a lot of cord up here. Uh, I would have liked to see this be a little bit longer. Uh, I would also have liked to see, have seen some kind of like strapping mechanism or locking mechanism uh, or some kind of strap on this. Uh, so you will have to get a Velcro or like a furniture tie and just kind of, uh, and just kind of, you know, tie it to the uh, stand there to keep it from hanging and dragging. Uh, and then you're just gonna also have to figure out how to loop the cable as well so it's not in the way. And of course, GVM, when you press the gear, you are going to get their very famous master slave mode. So that is also included. Uh, you can go ahead and hit the up down arrows, master and slave. And then you get the app mode. And then if you go down, you can decide what channel you want. There are uh, up to 12 channels. And then going down, it'll tell you what version of the firmware you're on. But let's go ahead and turn this to master here and we'll turn this bottom one onto slave. And now, as you can see, when we change the modes, uh, this is also gonna change with it. Let's go ahead and bring up the brightness. And as you can see, they both work together. So, very, very, very cool. Now I'm going to change this one to app, and we're gonna go into the phone app and take a look at this. Okay, so here we are in the GVM app, and it works very well. It finds it automatically. That's fantastic. Let's hit connect. And remember, this is in app mode, and the bottom one is in slave mode. Now, as you can see, uh, when one is set to app and one is set to slave, you have uh, control. Basically, you have master slave control. And the app is pretty good. Uh, you can turn it on and off. You can change the color temperatures here, which is very cool. You could change the channels here. You could also go into HSI and control the HSI. You can go into My Scene and you get the lightning, which we'll go over in a minute. And then you have this thing called My Scenes where you could store up to about six uh, of your own personal settings. Now, here's the catch with the app. And that is, while you can control these both together in a master-slave mode, you cannot control these lights separately with the app. Now, let me go ahead into this app here, and let me go ahead and make this, uh, let's make this also in app. And you'll see what I mean. Uh, let's go back, it says, you sure you wanna disconnect? Hit confirm, and hit research. And as you can see now, we have found both apps. The only problem, both lights. The only problem is, you can only connect to one of them. So let's go ahead and connect to one, like so. And so you only have control over one of them. Uh, now, in order to get control of the other one, you actually have to hit the back button and you have to disconnect. So hopefully GVM is gonna come out with a fix for this, maybe an update to their app. Uh, I know this is their new app, but it's a little long in the tooth now uh, because Nanlite and Godox and Aperture all allow you to control your lights um, multiple lights at once. Uh, you don't have to actually sign off on it, you know, disconnect a light in order to, to control another light. So you can only control these together. You cannot control them individually. Okay, so here we are at max brightness. Um, and as you can see, this is skewing a little bit green. And I want to compare it to the Sakani X25. I did a review right there. You can check it out. Uh, these are the two foot lights and I absolutely love these, but uh, Let's go ahead and this is probably set 
to exactly the same thing. And you could definitely see not only the brightness difference, there's that, and then we'll bring that up. You could see the brightness difference here. Let me bring this as close as this is. You could definitely see the brightness difference and the color difference. The Sakani is a much, uh, much better on my skin tone. It's a more, a little bit more magenta. The GVM is skewing a little bit green, uh, and this is a lot brighter, even though it's a it's smaller unit. Now, let's go ahead and turn this one on here. And so you can get an idea. You can see how bright these are together. Now let's hold this one up. Uh, one of these is much brighter than two of these, um, as you can see. Uh, and the color is a little bit better. So uh, that is something to keep in mind that these do scre uh, skew a little bit greener. And uh, LEDs have a tendency to uh, green up over time. So you want something that leans a little bit more magenta than green. Uh, your light's going to last a lot longer. Also, this Sakani does have a plus minus green, whereas the GVM does not. And now we're comparing it to the Nanlite. Uh, now I only have one of these small ones, unfortunately. I'm sorry, I don't have a bigger one. Uh, but you could see, again, uh, there is the light from the GVM, and here is the light from, the, uh, from this one right here. I'll turn this away so you can kind of get a better idea. Uh, you could see it's much nicer on my skin tone than the GVM. Now quickly looking at the special effects here, uh, we've got our lightning, which you can control the brightness. You've got cop car, you've got your candle, we've got TV, then we've got bad bulb, and of course we can control the color temperature with that. We have party where you can control the speed and the brightness. Disco, which essentially is the same thing uh, to me. Uh, maybe it blinks a little slower, but you could also control that. And then of course you get paparazzi as well. And Back to the color, here is 100% um, at uh, 5600 Kelvin. Here is about 50% right here. And here is about 10%. Here's the tungsten at 100%, at 50%, and at 10%. Okay, so let's talk about the GVM BD100s now. These are very interesting lights. Now let's talk about the negatives right off the bat. Now first off, these handles are very plasticky. Do not drop them. The handles, the caps, they will crack. Also, these buttons up here, uh, they are very wobbly and noisy and do not instill confidence. I have a feeling that these will probably be the first thing to go besides the mount, which is already broken because basically what they did was the machine took the clamp and hard pressed it into the small hole. Uh, they did not do anything to secure this. So you will have to come up with a DIY solution to fix these when yours breaks, uh, which I kind of guarantee they will. Now let's talk about the app. You cannot control these individually. Unfortunately, when you're in the app, you can set it to slave app mode and run these together, but when it comes to maybe making this one fire and this one a bad, a faulty bulb, you just can't do it. You'd have to disconnect from one to connect to the other. When things like Nanlite and Godox and Aperture all have apps that allow you to control all your lights across the board and not disconnect to any, this is key. This would be a very big time killer on set. So GVM, if you're listening, I really hope that you are going to update the app soon and give us the ability to run uh, individual lights as well as run lights together. Now, one thing that is sorely missing from this is grid control. They give you the mount, they give you the case, they give you the power packs here in order to let you run this thing continuously. Now, again, what's missing from here is some kind of strap or Velcro. You will have to add that yourself. Uh, but what is sorely missing is grid control. Um, Add that to the kit, and this would have been a very, very solid kit. Now, you can go out and buy the Godox one uh, or the Nanlite one. They will fit. I did actually slip this two-footer over this. Uh, you might want to pick up the four-foot, uh, but that is what is missing. Now, let's talk color quality. As you can see, these are very green. Uh, when compared to both my Sakani and the Pavel tube, uh, these had much nicer skin tone, plus these also have plus minus green, something that is missing from the GVM. So from the very bad to the very good, now you get everything you pretty much need except for 
grid control, which I really wish is in there. But you get two power packs, you get two lights, you do get the mount here. It works. Um, it will, like I said, it will probably break. The good news is you can take your Pavel tube clip and yes, 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 this does actually fit. So if you have some Pavel tubes lying around or these clips lying around, you are in good company. So that is a huge plus. Now, this is 5600 to 3200 Kelvin. Very simple, you get nice HSI, you get very usable special effects, you get their fantastic master slave mode and app slave mode, which just works and it's fantastic. The app finds these lights immediately, which is a huge plus. And of course you do get a, you do get the connector for the, to run these things off a power pack and you do get very, very, very nice uh, quarter, metal quarter 20s on the bottoms here as well for mounting. So let's talk about who this is for and what I recommend it. Now, this is for everyone, filmmakers, photographers, product photographers, product video, commercials, interviews, you can use these. Um, now, could I recommend this? And that is a tough sell because if you have a lot of GVM, if you're new or you have a lot of GVM stuff or GVM panels are your jam and you just want something that's going to work with all your GVM stuff, uh, this is fantastic. If you're just building a little YouTube studio, you don't have a lot of money. Um, these are okay. Uh, these work very well and they should be fine. Uh, the only thing is right now at the time of the recording of this video, these are $439.99. Now there is a $50 off coupon on Amazon. Take advantage of that because once that gone, once that is gone, um, I would say go get your go get a pair of old Nan lights. They are going to cost you exactly the same. You might pay a little bit more, but they are tried, they are true, they are tested, they are highly rated. Um, so, and and uh, as you could see from the little Pavel tube, um, the color uh, is much nicer than the GVM. Uh, so, but if you are on a budget, if again, you use GVM, you like the brand, uh, you like certain things about it, you can purchase these, these will be fine. Any kind of green cast or anything that's a, that's a little off, you can fix in post. Uh, but that's it, those are my thoughts, but I wanna know yours. So leave your questions and comments in the notes below. Also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to mash that bell button to be notified we drop a brand new video. And feel free to use the links as it helps out the channel. I'm Steven Michael Zach, and this is new to me.